Make a date with Rev. Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online. Truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Graphic Online, you can always get on, on YouTube and you can subscribe, and it's YouTube or Facebook, and you can, you can subscribe, and it comes easily. Uh, you don't have to pay a price for it. You just see the subscription bell, press it, and then it comes to you directly. You don't have to wait for the message of any other person, but you can get it directly on your own Graphic Online material. And... Living Streams International, we meet behind the Trade Fair, behind Zenith College, and uh, we meet at the Life Cathedral, the Zoe Chapel of the Life Cathedral, and you can't miss it, beyond, behind Big Shop uh, Classic. This morning, as we approach election and as we approach the D-Day, people are going to stand up and then append their thumbs to a, a man of their choice for the leadership of this nation. I like to just draw your mind. The Bible gives, the Bible covers every aspect of life, including politics. And the Bible gives us a criteria for leadership. So, criteria for aspiring leadership. Criteria for aspiring leadership. That's the topic for today. Criteria for aspiring leadership. Now, in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, the whole of 1 Timothy chapter 3, I find some very powerful thoughts over there. Paul began by saying, For if any man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good thing. Wow, I clap for that. If any man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good thing. Oh, wow. So it is not wrong to seek for leadership. It is not wrong to seek to lead. It's not wrong to seek because you have a vision, you have a dream, and you have a, a dream not for your selfish end, but a dream for the nation and a dream for the people. So it is not wrong at all. So here, all the contestants who are um, fighting for or, or who are vying for a position of leadership, that is the presidency of this nation and the parliamentarians and all those things. Kudos, well done, well done, well done. So it's not wrong. But then, guess what? For if a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good thing. Then Paul then went on to break down and says, not just everybody qualifies. Not just everybody is a serious candidate. We have to look. So he said, now let's examine the qualities that are needed for leadership. And so therefore, we as a people of God and we as, as children, listen, let, let's not be sentimental just over party, uh, for party reasons. No, let's, 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 let, let's, let's vote with discernment. Let's vote seeing clearly whatever the thing is. It's not because, well, I was born into this, I was born into that. No, 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 no. Or I like this because my friends are all there. No, 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 no. Or I am this because, no, 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 no. It's not, it's not loyalty to, to a party, loyalty to a distance. It is loyalty to issues, loyalty to issues that will take Ghana forward. So Paul then began to give criteria for all the qualities that are needed for leadership. And he gave different, different, different things. I'm going to throw three, three things at us. I'm going to throw three things or four things at us. Number one, the personality. The person who is coming, who is the person? Is the person a Democrat or is the person an autocrat? Is, who is the person coming in? We need to look at it. Is that person going to stifle my, 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 my dreams? Is that person going to... The personality of the person is, is very, very important. And so we need to investigate the personality of the person. The personality of the person is very, very important. And so the first one is the personality. Then the second one is the promises they make. The promises they make. The promises they make. You know, and, and, and it's very, very important. The promises they make. Sometimes some politicians will say, I'll build you a castle in heaven. And then we would always say, yeah, think. There are promises that are doable and there are promises that are not doable. There are promises that are, they, they don't work. Empty promises. How many times have we sat down and, and when they needed our thumb, they would, they would give us all the nice promises. We would do this, we would do that, we would do this. And when they sit on, when they come into power, we don't, know, we don't see that at all. They don't know us. Our needs are not met. 
The nation doesn't go forward. Window dressings and all that. Listen, the promises they make. Are they realistic promises? Are they promises that are achievable? Are they promises that we can see? That we can measure them? And the interesting thing is that the two main political parties that we have have all had a chance to rule. So let's see the promises with which they came. Economic promises, financial promises, health promises. Let's see the promises they make and let's measure them by it. The promises they make and now the promises they are making. He that is faithful in little will be faithful in much. We'll come to that. The next P for us, first of all the personality, then the promise, and then the next P for us is performance. What did they do whilst they were in office? What did they do? Did they ride the courage of corruption? Did they ride the courage of, of, of self-interest? Uh, did they ride that this thing? What did they do whilst they were in office? Each and every one of them, the main uh, uh, political parties that looks like they would win an election, it's very, very interesting. They have all had a chance to serve us. What did they do? So we need to measure what they have done. So measure this, A, measure what A did against what B did. Their performance is very, anti promises is not a good thing. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. That's what the Bible says. So don't raise my hopes with promises. And when it comes to performance, you won't do it. That is wrong. That is wrong. And then the last P is the pathway. How they, they, they want to do it. How they want to get there. How, how do they want to get there? By the promotion of political violence, by the promotion of intimidation, by the promotion of suppression, by the promotion of rigging or whatever, by the promotion of, I mean, arbitrary, uh, this thing. No. By the, pro uh, by the uh, pathway, by the pathway of, uh, what do you call it, vigilantism. No. No matter what it is, you may dress up vigilantes, or it's still vigilantism. This is how we need to look at it. And remember, the final say so is your thumb. Use your thumb wisely. Look at the personality, look at his promises, and look at his performance, and look at the pathway by which they have come this far. And I would like to tell you that vote and vote wisely. See you later.